Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a board member for the Steelville Arts Council and also the Evans House uh, Art Gallery Committee chairperson. So I'm doing this video today to show uh, artists mainly what the Evans House is going to look like both outside and inside. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below on YouTube or you can contact us through our website, steelvilleartscouncil.org or look for us on Facebook. So here's the Evans House. We're actually at the back of the house and you'll be parking probably in this area and you can unload and we're looking at the uh, back porch door so you'll probably be loading your uh, artwork into the house through this door. And I just wanted to start back here so that you would know uh, that space here. A lot of people park uh, further on back. Uh, we have a lot of parking on uh, both sides of this drive here. So uh, here's a full view. And I'm going to walk around to the front of the house where most people are going to be entering into the art gallery space. So you can see we have a nice side yard here. If you have uh, outdoor sculpture, you can certainly utilize the space. People will be walking by that. And we're walking towards the main street of Steelville. Uh, so it's a, a busy street, gets a lot of traffic, especially in the tourism season. And I'm almost to the front of the house. Hope my camera work isn't making anybody too sick. Okay, and here's the front of the house. We've got some nice trees here, nice shade in the summertime. And there's that side yard and my car. And uh, we have plans for having a wrought iron fence at one point that's gonna line this front uh, walk here, but at the moment uh, it's all open. We do have placards that point out parking and uh, point out when we're open too. So uh, if you have outdoor sculpture work, there's all kinds of space here in the front. Uh, there's our painted canoe that's uh, up for at least this year, 2012. Uh, so now we're going to go up on this nice covered porch. And here's one of our volunteers that keeps the house open, Sandy. Opening the door for me. Thanks, Sandy. And I do want to point out there's a room over here on the porch uh, that something could be set up if you wish. Um, there's a nice uh, uh, porch swing on the other side here. Uh, very comfortable. So as we come in, uh, most people are greeted with a uh, guest book here and uh, a little bit of our policies. Uh, here on my left as I go in, uh, you can see the first space. And I'm just going to do a 360. We do have a table here in the middle of the room that can be moved around anywhere. Uh, good lighting for the artwork in this room. There's that front door and Sandy. And finally, the last wall here. I'll show that. And I'm, this doorway goes into a, a third room, but I'm first going to go back and take you through if I had turned to my right through that front door. Show you the second room. A little bit of seating, which can be moved out of the way very easily. And you can see some of the wall space available to you here as well. These are our signs uh, that we're using at the moment to go out in front while we're waiting for permanent signage to be made. And again, pretty good lighting in this room. Stays nice and light and bright. And in the evening, we can turn on all the lights and get everything spotlighted properly. And this door leads to that same room that I pointed out from the other room here. So uh, good gallery space here in the front two rooms. Middle room has a lot of windows, so it tends to make a lot of uh, light in here as well, although we don't have the track lighting to spotlight pans in this room. Uh, so space for a couple of uh, paintings, photographs, sculpture work on either side of the uh, bathroom door here. Uh, this window leads out to our uh, what we're calling our pottery porch. This is nice space. It could be used for demos, uh, either pottery or painting. This wall, this display is going to stay up permanently so we don't move these at all. Uh, but we do have a table in this room that can be used to display objects or uh, marketing materials and we also have the credenza over here that could be used as well.
and our plant stand which can be put to use as a, uh, a podium for pieces perhaps if you'd like. And then here we are in our back room. Uh, this room is not near as well lit but there are picture hooks on the wall so you'll be able to use, uh, utilize those. Uh, we've got a photographer up here right now so you can see how he's using that space. Uh, this table really isn't uh, for use. Uh, these two uh, horizontal spaces here uh, our volunteers need both for our marketing materials and then to be able to fill out paperwork if they make some sales. So uh, you don't want to plan on that. You can see we have a lot of floor space though. We can bring in tables or you can bring in your own tables or podiums. And uh, the other thing I should have pointed out in uh, both the front two rooms we have this picture rail and we provide these uh, gold hooks or you can provide them yourself if you wish. Uh, we use fishing wire. Uh, we recommend at least 50 pound test wire to hang uh, the photographs or paintings and things. I do keep that on, on uh, stock here. If you want something heavier duty then uh, you'll want to go ahead and provide that yourself. But we do have that 50 pound test uh, fishing wire. So uh, one more thing to make note of at the back of the house. Um, here on the, you looked at the right side of the house has a kind of a, a, a pottery porch. The left side of the house has a nice sitting porch. And I'm going to take you back there. Uh, we'll go through the kitchen here. A kind of a nice space for uh, food prep if we need it. Uh, we don't hang artwork or anything in here for the public necessarily. It's more storage. But here's this back porch. It is all uh, enclosed. Um, and uh, those uh, tab table and chair in the uh, front room can be moved back out here. Uh, so that makes a nice sitting area. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of room back here too. I'll turn around so you can see kind of the open space that's available to you. 